Well, thank you so much for joining me in this micro nugget where we're going to take a look at a key concept in the UCS system. That's the unified computing system for data centers from Cisco Systems. We're going to look at service profiles. Let's jump in. Now, you may have read in the marketing materials from Cisco about the UCS allowing true stateless computing. What exactly does that mean? Well, what stateless computing means, let's zero in on our chassis right here. If we look at the chassis, we can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six blade servers installed in this particular chassis. Now, what stateless computing is all about is having an operating system and applications running on one of these compute nodes, let's say it's server one slash two here, and being able to move all of that stuff over to another server, let's say it's server one slash three, and having the operating system, all the applications, even the VMware components not really be aware of the fact that we are on a new blade. This is so cool. Now, what would you need to be able to do in order to pull this off? Well, one of the things you would need to be able to do would be to abstract things like MAC addresses and serial numbers on the hardware. Those ingredients would need to follow our guest operating system around as it moves within this blade server chassis. That's what service profiles are all about. They're the definition of the stateful information and they're the, the definition of how connectivity is going to be made and carried out. It's all of the great information that's needed in the UCS system about the particular compute resources that you have. Now, they sound like a really optional, nice to have component, but they're actually mandatory. Yeah, because they define how you are going to connect into the data center, they are a mandatory component. So every one of our compute nodes has to have a service profile that it's associated with. Where would you find them? Well, sure enough, they're located over on your servers tab. Pretty appropriate. Notice there's this service profiles node. Now, if you right click the service profile node, you can create a service profile using the expert wizard, or you can create a service profile using the not so expert wizard. What's the difference here? Well, the create service profile is just to get you up and running quickly with a server in the UCS system. Notice we name it, we provide the virtual NIC information, the virtual host bus adapter information, the boot order, and then we go ahead and we assign this service profile to one of the blades in our system. This does not provide you with the opportunity to engage in that stateless computing. No, because this approach is going to have your compute node utilizing the burned in, let's say, MAC address, the burned in worldwide port names and things of that nature. So what you need to do if you're interested in taking full advantage of stateless computing is you need to create a service profile utilizing the expert wizard. And now we can see that we're going to be walked through not only creating the service profile, but ensuring that this service profile will provide that stateless computing. Notice here in the very first step, we're asked to go ahead and choose what we're going to do for the universally unique identifier, the you know, the equivalent of a serial number for the piece of hardware. Obviously, we would want to virtualize that. We would want to abstract that so that we have mobility with this particular service profile. So the expert wizard is what we typically do in order to realize that great achievement of stateless computing in our data center. Since these are so critical, as you might guess, we are going to be interested in making service profile templates. 
Sure, literally having a template for the most common settings that we can then create a new service profile from. So in this micro nugget, we took a look at the importance of service profiles in the UCS system. I hope you clearly see why they're so important now, and I hope you also understand the difference between basic and expert service profiles in this amazing data center infrastructure system. I sure hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.